Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Time Wine Review. I wasn't planning on doing this type of video but I was absolutely touched by this documentary that I wanted to share my thoughts and also for anyone that has got the uh, Doctor Who Season 25 uh, Classic Collection Blu-ray set that came out uh, earlier this week in October um, don't miss this documentary that's on there because like I said it is very touching it's very moving and it's just a really good celebration of an actor where really it's one of those that um, big what ifs really you know um, the documentary that I'm talking about is Looking for Dursley. Presented by Toby Haydock, which celebrates the life of Dursley McLinden, who you might know as Sergeant Mike Smith in the Seventh Doctor story, Remembrance of the Daleks. But what you may not know is, sadly, Dursley is no longer with us. He sadly passed away at the age of 30 in the 90s. Uh, his death attributed to eight. What this documentary rightly pointed out at the start is that if you go onto Wikipedia for Dursley McLinden, it is just a very sort of short piece, mainly to do with his death rather than his life. So this documentary really does celebrate his life and particularly with the friends who knew him best. With interviews with former Doctor Who alumni Sophie Aldred, Nicola Bryant, Karen Gledhill, as well as uh, close families and friends who knew uh, Dursley very, very well, including current showrunner Russell T Davis. The documentary talks about his humble beginnings, uh, being born on the Isle of Man and finding his... Uh, his call for being a actor at a very young age and basically carried on his acting career through stage, uh, leaving at a very young age the, the Island Man to go and pursue a career in London. And there is just some mad, shocking um, discoveries really in this documentary uh, in terms of uh, his homosexuality, his sexuality. Um, I'd never knew that um, the Isle of Man um, reversed the um, legality of homosexuality, so it became uh, became legal uh, in 1992. I can't believe, you know, it's only 32 years ago that, you know, or just over 32 years ago that being gay was illegal and it shouldn't have been at all, you know. Um, but this is what the documentary sort of, you know, touches upon uh, and just sort of like how baffling it is. I mean, it's difficult enough as it is, you know, and, and I'm not the advocate of, of this whatsoever. Um, but, you know, I can only imagine that um, obviously it's very difficult to obviously figure out your sexuality and obviously uh, coming out as, as being gay. Um, how difficult that can be it can be now let alone what it was 30 40 50 years ago when it was illegal in the UK uh, so obviously sort of dealing with that and obviously having to hide it because of being you know the fear of being sent to prison and all the sort of horrible bigotry and just disgusting violence that many people have suffered um for no reason whatsoever, in my humble opinion. What this documentary really does well is just celebrate um, the, the life of Dursley McLinden, you know, and and like I said earlier in the video, it just, um, you know, it, it is a big what if, you know. It, I only sort of recognise him as Mike Smith uh, in Remembrance of the Daleks, but obviously he was way, way more than that. And... I have to agree with the documentary, you know, it's definitely one of those what ifs because uh, obviously he was a stage actor, a talented singer, writer, um, and obviously an attractive guy, uh, done quite a lot of model work as well. Um, and yeah, I just feel like his career was going to take off until it was obviously sadly cut short and but he still carried on you know as the documentary said he was the life and soul of the party everyone knew him 
very much a very sociable person and made you feel special in return um from from all accounts in the documentary and yeah just again having to sort of navigate that this life with um obviously the all the legalities of um of uh, being homosexual uh, and all the uh, and obviously from a, a career standpoint as well having to get Karen Gledhill to be his pretend girlfriend um uh, for some social showbiz events um on fear of obviously not being able to to work um for being gay um but again it just yeah as a, again as the documentary said is you know he he lived a life three times over um from a space of 30 years it's just no age it's absolutely no age and it's so so sad that you know we probably would have had if he was alive now would have had a very talented person that probably could have easily broke hollywood easy a regular on the uk tv screens uh, as well as stage and it, yeah it is very very sad but it's a very moving um documentary that just celebrates this life of um uh, dursing mcminden and it goes on to interview russell davis as i said um earlier and his russell davis was um um, Dursley was his inspiration for the drama It's a Sin. Now, if you haven't seen It's a Sin, go watch it. You know, it's so it's so harrowing, but incredibly dramatic um, piece of television. One of the best that's been out there for a long, long time. And um, and we had the interview of Jill Nadler, who was uh, basically um, Dursley's best friend. And yeah, all that sort of inspired it to sin. Before I watched this documentary, I knew that he sadly passed away, but more for me, I didn't really know the full circumstances of his death. And this documentary really opened my eyes um, of just how really important he was, uh, you know, at that, at that time. You know, he was an advocate for uh, AIDS charities and he just carried on working until uh, until pretty much up to his death. He was still on stage uh, at least a few weeks until he sadly passed away. And and if anything, it was just a inspiration to others, particularly for any any budding actor, actors or actresses now um, from the LGBTQ plus community. And... And yeah, just kind of shown how it's done, as well as being this life and soul of the party, really, from from all accounts in this documentary. And it is, it is such a, a loss. And it's not just a loss for Dursley, but a loss for everyone who sadly passed away uh, from AIDS uh, during the height of this pandemic. And also, it's a, it's a tribute to all the, the family, friends, loved ones who also dealt with the consequences of, of their loved ones passing away and still dealing with this today. So, like I said, I if you've got this set, do watch this documentary. It will blow you away. It was really moving, really touching. I'm glad that it is on there as, as part of this set. Um, again, it wasn't something I was looking out for personally, but... Uh, I'm glad I took the time to watch it and all I can say is I hope you found time to watch this as well and if you have let me know in the comments below and if you just want a general chat in the comments by all means do so I've said this many times on the time I'm with your YouTube channel this is a safe space for everyone uh, not just to talk about Doc 2 anything in general that you like do so let's celebrate life to the max uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Obviously, please like, share and subscribe. But more importantly, celebrate life. Be safe. Be kind. Until we meet again.